adding to the, our loins gird with truth and the breastplate of righteousness, Paul says, having our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You know, it's important if you're a soldier, particularly in their style of fighting, where they would line up in the ranks holding their shields and their swords, and they would stand side by side, and they would try to push the army back as they were thrusting their spears through the, the shield wall. And they must have on a solid footing. You see, the battleground can get very muddy. It can get very slick. And sometimes there's not a lot of traction. But the shoes, the, the, the equipment that the soldiers would wear on their feet would oftentimes have spikes driving them into the ground so that they would not be sliding back. This reminds me of a, a golfer out on the golf course. And if he doesn't have the right type of shoes and he goes to swing and, and, and he, he swings that club and the momentum of his body at times can have him slip around and fall and he's on his backside. And that's why golfers wear shoes with little spikes in the bottom. Give them good traction. Well, it's the gospel of peace that gives us good traction so that we can stand firm against the attacks of Satan. So that we can not be driven backwards but rather we can press forward, fighting in the face of the enemy. And the gospel truly does give us peace, a foundation built upon peace that we can stand in, sure and solid, firm in the gospel of peace.